decided to come down and get ready for our, uh, the balloon drop and uh, right after that we're going to do the line check and um, with the chef and when we got to the room uh, the chef sent us a nice gift again so we want to thank you very much um, this time it looks like it's some homemade granola with uh, some kind of cookie bottom and some chocolate dipped strawberries which have been amazing all week long and, and you know a very nice letter from the chef um, so we will be posting this on our Facebook and our um, also on, uh, on our YouTube video so uh, I just want to say you know Carnival you guys do amazing and thank you so much for what you've done all week it's been like this all week so uh, thank you very much so um, so I wanted to spend a couple minutes on one thing uh, the cabin cabins are um, always very important uh, so what do you like what do I like what is your friends like what is your mom like what's your dad like who knows um, everyone's got a different taste for comfort and the one thing I want to point out to you is that I've, I've done a suite I've done a balcony I've done an ocean view I've done inside cabin and this trip we did an inside cabin and it's the first time we've done an inside cabin in a very long time <laughs> and I, I gotta tell you that I miss the outside cabin for only one reason on carnival now and that's the couch so this time we got an inside cabin because I we, we wanted to do new, more trips this year and um, you, you get an inside cabin for pretty much about half the price that you would if it, it was a balcony and to me two ten days at sea versus seven uh, that's okay with me um, so I have to compromise or you have to compromise if you want to do more so I try to just book whatever's on sale if I'm going to do that kind of um, booking or thought through uh, when it's um, time to book actually um, the other thing is is that I, I look for shipboard credits because they always contribute towards the week's worth of tips and or um, uh, an excursion or and so on so um, those are the things that I take in consideration and I always book with their special they give you on carnival they give you a special within two weeks of your cruise a another cruise because they give you shipboard credits and the deposits are only a hundred dollars so um, and they're refundable and you can also transfer those um, only one time to another time and date if you can't you know make that commitment so I try to book about a year out and I save so much money so I just thought I would share that little tip with you all today because um, to me um, I always get to go on vacation and, and plan ahead and it doesn't cost an arm and a leg to do it so you know if I can stay for a one week vacation um, at under $500 a person um, that's pretty good um, and I do I, I, I shoot for that number um, because um, that's my magic number for a week and then I add stuff you know I'll add excursions or I'll add um, the cheers package or um, uh, maybe I won't I won't do anything and I'll just keep it as basic as possible so I just get away and it's worth it to me because uh, just to have time away is <laughs> that's that's the whole point um, the last thing I want to mention is that when you do social media and you do a lot of activities with people in groups um, it, it seems to really help too because you share your stories amongst each other and if there's a discount or there's a sale you can take advantages of those sales and sometimes there's upgrades and the ship isn't fully booked um, you find that they uh, they talk about it in the social media Facebook groups etc um, and then you get to take advantage of that because uh, one person got a deep discount on something and you can pick up the phone and say hey um, is this true that you can get the same 
kind of rate for a lot less and they say yeah and then they honor it you know and they don't do anything but want to make you happy so in this case um, we were actually offered two days before we left a spa balcony but they wanted 350 <laughs> um, so for the whole thing but for 350 that's a bit steep and to be honest with you all I would have used differently was the the the, uh, the uh, couch um, the balcony is always fun to do especially out port but I always book high up in the ship so I can just go right out to a couple steps out to the to the area where I can see everything anyway so it doesn't really matter but uh, that's my tip for the day and tomorrow um, it's going to be the first time we've ever done it we're going to do priority uh, disembarkation which to me I've never done I've always relaxed get off but we're meeting some friends or are, are actually our old neighbors from Sacramento I haven't seen them in years so we can't wait so we're going to get off the ship and we're going to do brunch tomorrow with them and so we're going to go through that adventure and I'll make sure I videotape it so I'm excited about that anyways um, we're about to go to the balloon drop we haven't never done that either uh, and that's been on every ship for the last two years so we thought we could do that and then we're going to do the line check and we'll bring you with you um, see you then bye <laughs>
that's it. I can't believe it. We actually just walked off the ship and crawled out of bed 20 minutes ago and had a little snack, grabbed our bags. We were priority off. Beautiful morning. But I tell you what, that was fast. <laughs> We're going to go meet some friends um, and have brunch on the uh, Queen Mary this morning. They're our old neighbors and uh, Bonnie and Mike, they, uh, we used to, we've known them for years, so they live down here in LA and we said, hey, let's get together, so our flight's not until tonight, so we decided to reach out to them and can't wait to see them, so that was a great adventure. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.